Hey everyone, so this week we're gonna shake things up a bit. Instead of tackling one complex cocktail, we're actually gonna showcase three simple cocktails. The Castaway, the Kapukai, the Plantation Days. So over the last couple months, we've made more than a handful of ultra complex cocktails that require a ridiculous amount of ingredients. Not everyone wants to go out and buy an entire liquor store just to make one drink. So we thought we'd showcase three different cocktails that use just three ingredients each. First up is a 90s era cocktail from entrepreneur, author, and all around tiki godfather, Jeff Beach Bumberry. This drink, the Castaway, simple as it is, uses a unique blend of ingredients that consists of just pineapple juice, Kahlua, and gold Virgin Islands rum. That mix of coffee liqueur, a bitter rum, and sweet pineapple ought to give us a cocktail with a surprising flavor. All right, so let's dive in. Let's start with uh, three ounces of pineapple juice, three quarter ounce coffee liqueur, in this case I'm using Kahlua, one and a half ounces gold Virgin Islands rum or gold Puerto Rican rum, in this case I'm using Bacardi. Now this is another cocktail that's meant to be served a bit like a slushy, so we're going to pour crushed ice directly into the shaker, shake it up, and pour the whole thing back into the glass. Dirty ice style. Alright, let's make this thing a slushy. Also just sounds cool. Now the original recipe calls for a Pilsner glass, but we're just going to use a Collins glass in this case. Let's pour it all back in. You can add a little bit more crushed ice to fill if you want. Toss the straw in, and there you go, the castaway. Let's see how it turned out. Wow, it's a lot more mellow than I thought it was gonna be. The coffee flavor really comes through. All right, let's move on to the next one, the Kapu Kai. This is another 90s cocktail, also from Jeff Beach Bum Berry. And it's sort of like a supercharged rum daiquiri, consisting of lime, simple syrup, and 151 proof Demerara rum. I imagine it'll be an interesting mix of smooth and fire with that simple syrup and 151 proof rum in there. So let's check it out. Let's do the lime juice. Let's do the simple syrup. And now the 151 proof Demerara rum. In this case, I'm using lemon heart. Stuff will kill you as always. All right, let's shake it up. Now, this drink is meant to be served in a coupe style glass, like you would with any daiquiri style drink. Now, I would recommend putting this in a freezer ahead of time to chill the glass, or you can also stick some ice cubes in there and put a little water in there while you're building the drink in order to disperse the chill from the ice to the edges of the glass. All right, let's toss in some cubes to chill the drink as we shake it. Also just sounds good. Now, hopefully our coupe is properly chilled. Now, let's strain it in. Nice. All right, the Kapukai. There it is. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh, it is zingy, just as we thought it would be. It's surprisingly complex for a very simple drink. And finally, let's move on to that third drink, the Plantation Days. Now this drink actually does have a bit of history to it. It was created circa 1954 for the famous Coco Palms Resort in Kauai. The Coco Palms not only was a popular location for tourists and weddings, but served as the location for many films like Blue Hawaii, South Pacific, Pagan Love Song, and Naked Paradise. Served up at the Coco Palms Lagoon Cocktail Terrace, this simple drink consists of just lemon juice, cognac, and galliano. Like other cocktails from this particular decade, I imagine it's a solid mix of sweet and sour flavors. So let's jump in. Now, like the Kapukai, this is another coupe glass drink. So let's put in some ice cubes and some water to chill the glass as we prepare the drink. Now let's do the lemon juice. Let's do the cognac. In this case, I'm just using Hennessy. And the Galliano. I literally don't know any other brand except this. <laughs> All right, now let's just toss in a couple ice cubes as we shake it to chill the drink. Ah, uh, you know how it sounds. Alright. Now, 
Hopefully our coupe glass has been chilled. Now let's just strain it in. Nice. Just as I imagined it would look. And there you go, plantation days. Let's see how this turned out. Wow, it's definitely a little more tart than I thought it was gonna be. Very interesting. So, there you go. Three simple tiki recipes for you to try at home. Hopefully these will allow you to try out a new, enjoyable cocktail experience without having to go hunting for a laundry list of ingredients. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. If you end up making any of these cocktails at home, leave a comment below and let us know how it turned out. And if you like this episode, please consider giving us a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on future cocktail recipes and adventures. Until then, cheers. Hi everyone. So this week, we're gonna shake things up a bit. Get it? Ah! Instead of tackling one complex cocktail. Uh, All right, let's move on to the next one. The Kapu Kai. The Cobra Kai. It's time for real. It's unclear why anybody actually drank this drink, but you know what? They were probably on lots of drugs. They didn't know what alcohol tastes like back then. Lemon juice, is it lemon juice? It is lemon juice, god damn it. If I don't do it this time, I'm moving on. This week we're actually gonna shake, nope, I lied. What the hell's in this drink? <laughs> in this case, I'm using an entire bottle of Bacardi. Leave us a like and please subscribe. And I patted I can almost drink all three at the same time. Yeah. Ah, thank God, after all these drinks, thank God I have this water to drink. Water from a tiki tea mug. I'm going to tiki hell. <laughs>